Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Today we are picking our next exciting adventure. Who will it be? Who will be Sabin? Um, what dire fate has befallen Sabin, who leapt from the rafters after the fight with Ultros? By the way, this is Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Chaos Blue. Yeah, I think you probably already knew that. Sabin's scenario here is probably the longest. I'll warn you right now. But I think Terra and Edgar's one is the best for saving for last. Also, just a sec. Okay, I just had to reduce the volume. Note to self, I reduced the game volume. So, you know, that's going to be a probably a problem for editing. Anyway, we want to go in here. It's a guy on a chocobo. Uh, he left! How rude. But it's also Shadow! You, another traveler? You don't happen to know which way to Narsh, do you? I got separated from my friends. The Empire has set up camp just beyond the forest to the east. The Empire? What are they doing here? They seem to have their eyes set on Doma Castle. So Doma's next, eh? But I need to get to Narsh right away! The only road passes through Doma. I can take you there if you'd like. Just know that I may leave you at any time. Hell yeah! Death is always just a step behind me. So we have Shadow! Who's awesome! Although, to warn you, when he says he can leave at any time, he is serious. After every battle up to a certain point, um, and I'll tell you when that point is, he has a chance to leave you. Uh, on the world map, at least. I don't think he will ever leave you if you're inside of an area. But on the world map, he can. So, my advice is be very careful with him. Save very frequently when you're traveling with him on the world map. And try to not fight many battles. Because we really want to be taking him along for the ride. If we can help it. Uh, having said that, he doesn't have much on him. You can have a buckler. Hmm. He has higher evasion than average. That's interesting. Hmm. Actually. Speed, defense, magic evasion. Ma or match defense, rather. I probably shouldn't do this, especially because Shadow uses knives, which I'm pretty sure have put part of the damage based on speed, whereas that is not a issue for Sabin. But I'm going to do it. Because there's nothing you can do to stop me. And besides, I'm going to make it up to him. By giving him the Genji Glove. And sprint shoes, I guess. Yeah, it seems right. Uh, as for you... Um... Yeah, that seems pretty good. And... Ribbon? No, sandals. Okay, and we're all set up. Now, we can go from here. There's no items here or anything. But there is... Well, you'll see. It's a... What? Cabin. Hmm? You, the clockmaker? I've been waiting for ages. Oh no, I'm not the clockmaker. There she is, hanging up on the wall over there. Ain't been ticking for a year now. Five years, was it? 
Shucks, maybe it's been ten. I don't remember. Oh, I got it! Lawnmower repairman, eh? Couldn't provide a worse service. Grass is fifty feet high out back. No more lip repairman, fix that stove on the double. It's been on your conscious when I freeze to death. It will be, rather. Uh. Oh, for pity's sake! And you call yourself a repairman, causing trouble like a kid. A kid? I don't have any kids. Why do you have to bring up kids? It makes me sick just to think about it. I think it's time for you to leave now. Go on, get, or I'll toss you out under the veld, too. I think this old chocobo's missing a few feathers. Oh. Ha! This guy's a merchant. Howdy there, I run a mobile item shop of sorts in these parts. Everyone around here knows me. You're, uh, you're not from around here, are you? Well, no matter. Indeed, I do actually need some things. Um... So, obviously, maybe not obviously, Shadow, if you didn't guess, him being a ninja and all, has the throw special ability, which lets him throw weapons, as well as special items like shurikens and scrolls. Now, these, I believe, cast spe the spells that are listed. A shuriken just deals damage. Right now, this is probably the best way to deal damage with Shadow, but it's also a little bit on the expensive side. I'm gonna buy, well, yeah, Invisible, that's what I thought. Oh, Shadow Scroll is actually Image. Okay, that's good to know. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna buy a few of these because I don't really plan on using them much. Uh, I, what I do am gonna need are a few more Phoenix Downs and more potions. A lot more potions because I don't have a, any healers right now. And that should be good. Okay, last thing. We're gonna sneak back in here and rest in the old man's bed. Cause it's free! <laughs> <laughs> okay then, on that note, let's get out of here. We got stuff to do! All sorts of stuff. We want to go... let's see... I believe we want to go south of here. Wait, yeah, we do. So, let's do that! Okay, so... Do that. I'm gonna stop here for a sec. Well, no, I'm not. Here's the thing with Blitzes. Okay, I'm paused. Stopping paused. Here's the thing with Blitzes. This is something I didn't know last time I went over these, but I do know now. For the circular things, there's a handy cheat for doing it. Like this, which you can't actually see. Here's the thing, the command for this is down, uh, diagonal, left, down, and then left. I just pressed down, down, left. The detection on the GBA for diagonals is not very good, and it's pretty complicated to program well. Consequently, in this game, it doesn't actually check if you did a diagonal. What it checks is if you pressed the either of the two directions they could have been. Which is which is really convenient for cheating, basically, and making the circular things a lot easier to do. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll do that again. Now, I need to remember what my other blitzes are. <laughs> But yeah, because as I said before, it is actually pretty difficult to do the uh, diagonal ones properly because it can be a, it doesn't really detect very well. However, it is really easy to do them properly if you j don't even bother trying to do it properly, 
and just do, like, all the way in one direction. At least in this version. Uh, that may not work in the Super Nintendo version. So, you know, use at your own risk. I suppose. Let's see. That's a blitz, right? It is indeed. Haha! -ha! And kill it. Okay then. Anyway, I hope I'm going the right way. I have a moment. Once I get to the right spot, I know more or less where I'm going. But I didn't think to write down world map directions in my notes. Might have been a bit of an oversight. I must admit. Okay, hopefully this just hits the right guy. It did indeed. Ha ha ha! Match attacks are OP. Anyway though. Anyway... Um, I seem to have come the wrong way. Son of a submariner. Okay, well I'm gonna walk back then. Probably cut out some battles. Oh, you know what? I can't cut this battle anymore because Shadow just had Interceptor come in. Which is pretty rare. So yeah, that happens. Sometimes Interceptor will, you know, counterattack like that. Which, as far as I know, Interceptor's only response to Shadow, um, ever. There are some glitches in the Super Nintendo version you can do to give Interceptor to other characters. But, well, I would... I would advise against trying them out, because... In that way lies a really screwed up game. Still, Interceptor is a thing. That blood. Why did it attack with Sabin? Whatever, it's faster. Come to think of it, did I save? I. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I just need to be careful with Shadow, you know. Um... Right. As I was saying, now that I think about it more, this is definitely the way I want to go. Uh, which is a little weird if you think about it, because the geography of going this way to get way over to Narsh makes no sense at all. But, you know, just don't think too hard about it. Now, I'm pretty sure... Ahem. Now, I'm pretty sure the place that I want to go right now is the white spot on the... to the left of me. Oh. And Q Imperial Camp. Let's see... Now... I'm not sure if Shadow will leave you before you come here, but I am certain that Shadow can leave you after any random battle after you, you have left this camp. So, watch out for that. Uh, that said... An Imperial camp? There's an awful lot of soldiers here. Hey, did you hear? Oh, you mean... Shh! Keep your voice down! If Kefka catches us, we're toast! They say Kefka's plotting to drive away General Leo so he can take over his position as general! Don't even joke about something like that! If that freak becomes our general, I'll quit! Quiet! What if he hears you? You'll... You'll be l I gotta tell you, with Kefka... We're talking about Kefka, right? I think the least of your concerns is being locked up. Oi. Alright, alright! Uh-oh, here he comes! Quick, back to your post! 
Hey, you! You keeping a sharp lookout? Mm. Yes, sir, Kafka, sir. What a pleasant surprise! How are you today, sir? Please! Spare me your petty small talk! Just do your job! And don't let me catch you slacking! Or I'll make you regret being born! Hmm, like we're gonna listen to you, you pompous little. What's wrong with that guy anyway? It's like General Leo got all the good qualities a man could have, and Kefka got stuck with the rest. I don't know, Kefka does have a pretty good sense of humor, in a manner of speaking. Be quiet already! I just told you to keep it down! How many times are you gonna make me say it? You gotta be more careful! General Leo may be a decent man, but Kefka, that guy's twisted! Tell me about it. You there! We're about to storm the castle! The two of you will join the assault squad! Get moving! Yep, that's some assault squad. Charge! So the Empire is attacking the castle quite ineffectively. Ah, and we seem to be inside of it now. It's hopeless, we can't keep them all out. So this is it. Wait! Who could this be? Tune in next time to find out! <laughs> I lo like doing cliffhangers like this way more than I should. Uh, seriously though, it is, uh, well, around 20 minutes. Probably 19, close to 19 actually, but close enough. Um... So, until next time, when we discover who the mysterious waiting voice is, and whether the Empire will be successful in Stormy Doma Castle, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, and have a good day.